I stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. <laughs> of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. No signs of muscular atrophy. Splendid. We'll put those marksmanship scores to good use. Good. I need someone who can smack a little sense into this colony.
A laborer. You'll have plenty of company.
Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Likely bootlickers. <laughs> Initiate skip jump. There you are, wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, <laughs> not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Yeah? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, a smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one-of-a-kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... All the colonists are counting on you. should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go.
You've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Hey, you, come here. You've tried the best now. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, law, that stings. Huh. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Oh, we're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. Not that I deserve to be. Can't even deliver a company slogan. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take them. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean... What are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Some hullhead grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here. And I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Yes, nailed it that time. The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with anti-Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. You hit your head or something? Your Edgewater's a...
Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Smile for my surveillance device, Marauder. I am... Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. I detect an elevated heart rate, indicating dishonesty. Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. Transfer procedures initiated. Please engage in airlocks. Prepare to eject all boarding parties in five, four, three, two, one. If you are still here, my deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. I deduce from the tone of your voice that Captain Hawthorne failed to meet you at the designated location. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. The settlement of Edgewater is located nearby. I recommend speaking to the administrator of Edgewater and requesting assistance. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new Captain's Identity Cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and Captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. I'll be with you, friend. I'm Ernie, from the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. Town sent me hereabouts to check on the guards. Now, it seems to me, and correct me if I'm wrong here, but Seems to me, they're all dead. Mind telling me what happened here? Accidentally brutally shot themselves, huh? Unbelievable. Second time this month. Guess I'd better get to cleaning up. Can't just leave company property scattered about, bleeding out on the dirt. Is that an official Spacer's Choice spacecraft on an official Spacer's Choice landing pad? Do I look like an auto-mechanical sanitation unit? The answer to both questions is no. You don't want to amble on over to Edgewater at your earliest convenience. The constable's office might have work for someone with your, uh, let's just say, aggressive disposition. Oh, and, uh, be sure to stop by the Edgewater Provisioner for a can of salt tuna. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. Don't get paid bits to chat with strangers. You want to chew the rag, go talk to Silas over by the cemetery.
Oh, hey. Where'd you come from? Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. Your pod? What are you on about? You take a bruise to the cranium? Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls. And low, low prices. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Got a knack for being discreet-like? There's money to be made, long as you keep your nose clean. Edgewater is a company town, board-owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites, we rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see? Quotas, mostly. Got a backlog of graves to fill. Bodies won't bury themselves, you know. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Yeah? The colony ship? Are you talking about that old rumor? Some great big starship packed full of colonists what got lost in the Aether never to be found again? <laughs> Ain't heard that one since I was but a stripling. Can't say it was terribly convincing far as rumors go. Is there a reason you asking? Hope's just a rumor, friend. Ancient rumor at that. Maybe you've been out in the sun too long. Why don't you head over to the cantina? Get yourself some zero-G brew. It's a brew that's good for what ails you. 